Lovely to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, yeah, we've had some really good fun with this topic, um, trying to work out what we could do that would bring all the technologies together. So anybody that knows me, uh, I've got a blog um, and, you know, put some videos out there. I'm all about the business process side of things and getting to value faster. So for me, the power in the power platform is how you use those tools to actually do an end to end process that actually does something really useful, which, of course, is going to be helping Santa today. So. Um, there's nothing really technical deep dive here to show you. Um, hopefully you've seen all of this before, but if you haven't, then maybe I'm going to give you a little, a couple of use cases for the virtual assistant. Um, so as we can see, um, Santa doesn't need to check this twice because he's got a new assistant, new guy in town. So what we've done is created a, a naughty or nice app. And step one is to take the quiz. And I appreciate that you can't get to that link. So what I've done is put it up on my blog so that you can follow along and actually complete the steps. Let me just flick to the right screen and give you that. Okay, I'd be very interested to know who is naughty and who is nice. And what we've got here is, so some of the things that we've done within this quiz. So the first of all, um, we're looking at just a, a little bit of a welcome here. So the first thing you need to do is to say hello. So that's how we get started. And what it does, um, if I just flick straight over to the app in the other window. Okay, so here you can see it's integrated. So we've just threw it, thrown it on a, a blog page just to show you that you can put the, the Power Virtual Agent wherever you would like, rather than just showing it in the plain window. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say hello, and then I'm gonna zoom in because that feels kind of small. OK, so the first thing the app is going to ask me is who I am. So we need some personal details. Now, obviously, the first thing we want to do is we want to put in a good name. So we're going to use, let's use Tiny Tim. I'll let those of you who know the story guess whether he's good or bad. So what country or region do you live in? Well, let's pop him in the UK just for today. And what city? Uh, he lives here with me in Cambridge. OK, so some questions. Do you believe in Santa? Now, you might be able to work out what the right answer to the question is to be naughty or nice. So let's say, of course. When was the last time you lost your temper? Well, if I'm Tiny Tim, probably <laughs> this question makes me really angry. Uh, probably last year, let's say that. Um, do you always say please and thank you? So what we did is we, we went and found some questions that could help determine things that you've done. And we only put a few in there that might make you naughty or nice. So let's uh, serve a Thanksgiving dinner. Do I use a lot of profanity? Um, let's say very rarely. And what we've done is in the background, there is a flow that is working out, oh dear, whether I'm naughty or nice. So on this occasion, I've been naughty and it's pointing me to uh, a blog of 23 ways to get onto Santa's nice list, which goes <laughs> up the window. So that wasn't necessarily how I wanted this part of the demo to go. Okay. So what we're doing is we're just going through and we're working out who's naughty and who's nice. If I just bring the presentation over here, that's going to be easier. So that's the first part, being able to take the quiz. And hopefully everybody is busy taking the quiz. So step two would be the result. So as you saw there, I got the naughty. But if you were nice, then it would ask you what gifts you want. So what we've done is this is bringing the gift list from CDS. No, what do we call it? Dataverse today. Um, and and gives you the option of choosing whichever gift you would like. And that kicks off the next part of the process, which the other girls are going to tell you. But let me just tell you about a couple of little bits that I threw in here just to make the PDA interesting. So obviously, it's important to know your repeat offenders or your known offenders in this case. Uh, and in this case, we've if you were to put in the name, and please do try, um, either Chuck or John Levesque, if you know them personally, you'll know why, but they're immediately put on the naughty list. So <laughs> <laughs> it skips all the questions and just says, we know who you are. Uh, and I just made up a URL there of we see you when you're sleeping.com for the appeals procedure. OK, so that's just a custom message. And the way we've done this is with an if statement. So if we jump into the PDA, you can see that as we've asked the first question, which is the person's name, what we've got here is some 
some if statements. So if you are Chuck or John Levesque, then you're clearly going off to my naughty topic. If, however, you are me, <laughs> or because I got asked on Twitter last night, Brian Dang, then you will go to the nice peeps list. So we can show you that easily by testing in the chat bot here. Uh, if I just, oh, can't stop. Jump in with hello. I don't know if you can see that, it feels kind of tiny. And it's actually walking us through where that's going. So asking me my name. So if I put in Sharon Sumner, we should go down this condition over here and immediately I get to choose a gift <laughs> because I'm just so nice. <laughs> okay, so if we click back uh, to the presentation. So we've handled our known offenders with an if and we've been added a little bias just to get me straight to a gift because, you know, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, um, the other thing that we can do, and a lot of people often, instead of using an if statement like that, because that can get unwieldy, that could get super wide. You see how many ifs we've got here just to handle those four people, even though we're, we're taking it out to another topic. So the one thing that you can do is you can take it straight to a topic. So if you're on the app, please do try this. In, at any point during the app, instead of typing, if you would normally type hello, um, you can type that and it will begin the process. Um, it knows that's still me, but if at any point you type ho ho ho, because that's how Santa says hello, you'll get a nice little message designed especially for Santa. Hey Santa, let's dance. And it takes him off to his uh, Spotify list, which is this one here, which is the Christmas songs holiday music. So it's just about knowing your audience. So so there's two methods there. So if, if we're gonna put in a lot of exceptions, and when we look back up at the topics, because we can have as many as we would like in terms of triggers. Um, so I just called this one Secret Santa. You can see that the trigger is ho, ho, ho. So I could have put any number of triggers in here. And then within the authoring canvas, I could have said what was going to happen for each of the individual triggers based on what was put in at the top. Or I could have had a topic for each of those little Easter eggs that you want to put in there. Um, there. And then finally, um, just to show you the flows that live in there. So, um, and you can see it from the slide, but I could show you on the flow itself as well. Um, so we've got a Power Automate that is gonna take all of the question data um, and then do uh, an assessment of the naughty and nice. So in flow, it's just based on the answers to those questions, a little secret source there, I'm not gonna share that one, how I determine whether you're naughty or nice. And then the gift choices one is pulling back the gift choices. So we get the first uh, action that we need is to pull those gift choices out of CDS. So sorry, data first, so that when we are looking at that data, it's live data. So if in the background, the elves don't have any more diamond rings or Teslas, as I wanted to put on there, then uh, if that if that product has gone uh, out of availability, maybe they're going to put another one in. So that's why we're pulling the gift choices live. Um, and then we're asking the user for a number and we're then resolving it backwards again to work out what the gift was that they chose using an array in the flow. And this is just the, the feeding of that gift choice back. So we've used three Power Automate flows in the solution to get to the point of writing your record and your gift choice and your status of naughty or nice back to Dataverse for for Jesse to, and um, Clarissa to pick up in the various other apps that we've got there. And while I'm on this page, I'm gonna finish because I know we're on a really tight timeline. The reason I put Santa on here was to remind me that my gift for Christmas, please, would be that I could bring these values back in instead of having to make up numbers. Please, 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 could we bring results of those back into our Power VA? And I know we've got the product team on, so I thought I would cheekily ask if we could have that in there, please. <laughs> And that's really me. So please do go on. Hopefully we're getting notifications left, right and centre that people are filling it in. Um, yep. and I can see some people are being naughty or nice. So that really ends the Power VA. Clarissa. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting multiple pings as, as all of the requests come through. So awesome to see we've got lots and lots and lots of nice people on, on the call. <laughs> this is a very um, nice it's <laughs> oh, really neat. I, I love your guys' theme or gals' theme this this month. Sharon, I'm curious. So you obviously brainstormed this idea and probably I'm imagining built 
your requirements as you went along and built at this time. But if you had like your whole flow on all the questions and answer designed, and it was a survey about this big that we many of us just took, how long would this take you to build that? Oh, that was ridiculously quick. So obviously you're going to go through the requirements phase and you're going to work out whether it should be an if or whether it should be a topic. And mm-hmm. really it's the same with everything in IT, right? So do the design first and then the build is really, really simple. So once you've made all of your mm-hmm. uh, all of your decisions about how the data is going to flow, then the build itself was um, the most complex thing was passing in and out of the values into CDS, right? So um, the fact that you have to turn it into a number and then read an array and kind of do that bit backwards, that was the longest part, but I would say all up um, 45 minutes an hour to do the PVA. It is so simple. Beautiful. It's crazy. I always like to ask that question because, as we all know, one of the amazing things about these low code tools are how fast we can do things compared to how we used to have to write everything from scratch many times. So and that's just very interesting. All right. Well, thank you for walking us through that. That is a really cool way to see the power of the Power Virtual Agent and a fun holiday theme.